Hi and welcome to this video. Inside this video I'd like to talk about how you can record, edit, export and upload your video to YouTube and get it onto your website. If you've been following the previous videos inside this series, you'll know all the equipment you'll need to be able to record your online video and you'll also know how to go through the proper presentation if you're creating a sales video. So inside this video I'm going to go into a little bit more detail to talk about how to record it, how to edit it, how to export it to, uh, to the right format, how to get it onto YouTube and then get it onto your website so that other people can watch your video. So let's get into the first point, how to record your video, some important tips. The first thing is to think about how to set up your camera. Now one thing that I always talk about is that it's important to think about your background. Now in this case I'm using a fairly simple and clear background because I don't want to distract people with a bunch of other things. It also allows me to put images or texts over on this side uh, to help prove my point or to support whatever I'm talking about. Now, it may be different for your situation and you may want to have other things there like nature scenes or whatever. It's up to you but think about your background. That's, uh, that's the point I'm trying to make here and make sure that it's appropriate for your video. The other thing to think about in terms of setup is your lighting. Now in my case, in this particular case, I'm recording inside a studio and I'm actually using two lights. So there's a light over there and there's another light over there. They're both at about 45 degree angles from where the camera is. So the camera's over there of course, where you are. Um, so in my case, I'm using two lights to help me light up this, the, my face and to make sure that the, the video quality is good enough. Now you may be recording during daytime or in a room where there's lots of natural light and you may not need lights or you may be recording outside in which case you probably also don't need any lights but uh, in any of these cases just make sure that whatever you're recording uh, is getting enough light because that can help you get the quality of your recording much much better. And another little tip for when you're recording is to leave pauses right before you start talking and also right at the end. Now what this does is that it helps you during the editing phase to easily do fade ins or fade outs or cuts and when you're moving clips around. So it just helps you during the editing phase uh, to make sure that you don't cut your voice off at the beginning or at the end. So leave pauses before you start talking and also at the end. Just keep looking at the camera, uh, pause for a couple of seconds and it just helps a lot during the editing phase, trust me. The next stage is to start editing your recordings on your computer. Now if you used any of the cameras that are recommended inside one of the previous videos, it'll be pretty straightforward because all of them requires a USB connection to your computer. So all you do is plug the camera into the USB port of your computer and transfer those files onto your computer. The next stage is to get those files into your editing program and you simply open them up inside your editing program and then you're ready to start editing. Now just for editing, here are a few little tips that will help your video come across a lot more, lot more professional. The first thing is the use of titles. This is absolutely not critical but it can help you come across a little bit more professional. Uh, so look for the titles function inside the software that you're using, the software that I recommended previously. And you know, just add it right at the beginning of your video, uh, throughout your video if you want to make certain points and maybe at the end as well when you call people to action, when you tell them where to go to a certain website for example. The other thing you can use is fade ins and fade outs and this is just a really nice and easy way to make your video just come across a little bit more professional. Uh, very very simple to just add a little one or two second fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end. I often do this just with my YouTube videos where I'm a little bit lazy, I don't want to do any fancy editing and often that's all I need to make my video look very very good. Another thing you can do is to add cuts inside your video to uh, have those instant zoom ins and zoom outs and this can create the perception that you're using more than one camera. It can also make your videos come across a lot more professional. So all you've got to do here is inside the track for your video, um, you make a cut, you zoom in for however long you want to, and you make another cut and, zo and zoom back out again. It's really as simple as that. A lot of people often thought that I'm using more than one camera but it's really just me zooming in and out during the editing phase. And finally, if you want to add a little bit of extra pizzazz to your video, you can add a music track uh, at the beginning and at the end. And this is really easy to do. All you've got to do is add it and then add a fade out at the beginning 
and at the end you add it again with a fade in and towards uh, louder music towards the end. So often using a bit of music can make your videos come across a little bit more professional as well. But once again, it's not essential. Uh, at the minimum, all you really need is a fade in and fade out, and that already will make your videos look a lot more professional. Now, once you've edited your video, the next stage is to export it to the right format. Now, this is very, very important to export it to the right format. Otherwise, the quality of your videos won't be all that good if you get it, if you get it wrong. So it's a little bit technical to show you on here. So what I've done is I've created a special page that shows you all the different settings that I use for the different pieces of software. And you can get this for free. Uh, you don't have to even opt in for it. I've created a special page. If you go to www.rapidvideoblogging.com forward slash export settings, uh, there'll be a page there with all the different settings for all the different software that I recommend. Once you've exported your video to the right format with the optimum settings, you're ready to upload it to the internet. Now for this, I recommend you use YouTube. If you haven't got an account yet, just go ahead and create one. It's 100% free. And then that'll allow you to upload your exported video file to your YouTube account, which then will allow other people to watch your video. The only thing next is to then embed that video on your YouTube, on your website or sales page, uh, which is the next stage. So the next and final stage is to embed your YouTube video on your website or your sales page, depending on how you're using it. Now, this is really straightforward. All you've got to do is go to the video page for your video and right below your video on YouTube, look for the embed code. There can be a little button or maybe a link, depending on when you're watching this video, YouTube often changes the interface, uh, but look for the embed code right below your video or on the same page as where your video is and then you can basically copy and paste that code into your website or your sales page. Now, there are just a couple of settings you can use to optimize your embed code for your YouTube video. The first one I recommend you do is to uncheck the box that says related videos. And all this will do is it'll, it'll remove the related videos at the end of your video once it's finished playing so that other people, once they've finished watching your video, won't click on it and go away uh, leaving your website or your sales page. This is pretty important. So if you uncheck that box, all it'll do is it'll only have a, a link there that says replay video. Very, very cool. And of course, the other setting you can change there is the size of your video. So think about your website and how big that is and select the optimum size. Normally, I try and select the biggest possible size and uh, because you, know, you might as well go as big as you can. Uh, of course, make sure that it still fits into the normal web browser and that it looks good for your website. So that's really it. That's all you need to know for creating your own online video and getting it onto your website. I hope you've enjoyed this short video series and that you'll be able to use it. My recommendation is to really just get started at the beginning. It might be a little bit tough to, you know, to go through the process and you might think it's difficult, but trust me, the second and third and fourth time, it'll be a lot easier. And after a while, you'll, you'll wonder why you ever thought it was difficult. It's very, very straightforward. If you'd like to find out how I make a six-figure income with online video, I've created a special free report that you can download at www.rapidvideoblogging.com. Inside the report, I talk about how I create massive amounts of traffic back to my site, how I build my email list, and then how I monetize my online videos as well. So just go to www.rapidvideoblogging.com to be able to get access to my free report. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you inside my next video.